Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE348780 on PlayStation 4. Method 1. Restart the games. Press the PS button on the controller to access your PlayStation home screen while the games is running or not responding. The games icon should be highlighted but not chosen. The options button on your controller should be pressed. Decide to close the application. To confirm, click OK. Method 2. Update the PS4 system software and the games. Sony recommends that PS4 users should always keep their PS4 system software up to date, as this reduces the risk of error occurrences, including PS4 error CE348780. Apply the same principle to all of your apps and games. For those who want to use their PS4 exclusively offline most of the time, this is a crucial factor to take into account. If you regularly play the games online with other people, the game is probably now on the most recent patch. Method 3. Clear the system cache on your PS4. The next method you can make is to make sure that you clear the system cache. Simply switch off the PS4, unplug the power cord from the socket for 30 seconds, and then turn it back on to accomplish that. Method 4. Delete all game data. To do that, you must first back up the saved data using either a USB storage device or an online cloud service if you are a PlayStation Plus member. Both options are located in the settings menu, which is located by pressing up from the home menu and then scrolling right. You should then select Application Saved Data Management, and, subsequently, Saved Data in System Storage. Once that is done, go select the problematic game and then press the Options button in order to bring up the Delete option. Reinstall the game data from the disk, which should automatically happen. Afterward, restore your saved data via the PlayStation Plus online storage or USB device from the same application saved data management option of the settings menu. Method 5. Rebuild the PS4 database. Firstly, turn off the PS4 completely. After that, press and hold the power button. Release it after you've heard two beeps, one when you initially press, and another about 7 seconds later. This will boot the PS4 into safe mode. Connect a DualShock 4 controller with a USB cable and press the PS button on the controller. Select the option Rebuild Database. It will warn you that it may take hours. Most of the time, this solution resolves the problem. Method 6. Disable Face Recognition. If a PS camera is connected to the system, disconnect the camera and restart your console, then turn off Enable Face Recognition. Just select Settings from the PlayStation 4 home screen menu. Select User. Select Login Settings. Uncheck Enable Face Recognition. Method 7. Check for Overheating. Ensure that your console's vents are unobstructed, and that it is situated in a cool, dry area. It's also likely that dust has already been applied to its internal parts or that dust has obstructed its vents. Try to perform a brief inspection by opening the console or wiping the vents of dust. By the way, please checking the game disc by check the underside of the disc. Dust, fingerprints or scratches may cause the disc to malfunction. After that, clean a dirty disc by use of soft, dry cloth to carefully wipe the disc from the center outward as follows. Don't forget examine the hard drive for issues. To do that, you need a computer. Connect the PS4 HDD to a computer. After that, open Windows Explorer. Choose the last option, Properties, when performing a right-click on the HDD's icon. Select the Tools tab. Click Check under Error Checking. The error checking needs to begin. Once it's finished, you can re-plug the PS4's HDD. If the error persists, you may need to use a different HDD to checking. Method 8. Factory Reset the PS4. You should also think about performing a PS4 factory reset, which is a dramatic but crucial consideration. When you've tried all the aforementioned advice and nothing has changed, make sure to back up your data and game saves before doing a factory reset. I advise getting in touch with the nearby Sony Service Center if the issue continues. Hope this is useful.